Hello and welcome to Gardens Now. Today we're going to see if organic herbicide is effective. I'll get into helpful tips and some of the science later, but for now let's see if it even works. We'll be applying Sunday's Weed Warrior onto Canada Thistle. Let's see if it's effective, and if so, how fast. Results are clearly visible after this 90 minute time lapse. It's easy to tell that the weed has been injured in the short amount of time. However, this doesn't necessarily mean that it is dead. Let's see what it looks like tomorrow morning. As you can see, we had some moisture come in. I'd estimate it started raining about 12 hours after the application. Let's see if that hurt the weed killer's effectiveness. These first few weeds look really beat up. One even removes very easily. I left some Canada Thistle on sprayed to act as a control. That way we'll know if the Weed Warrior actually killed the weed or if it was something else. These controls look pretty healthy. Here's the weed from the time lapse. Can you even see it? It got so injured that it lost its green color, blending into the rest of the debris. It looks pretty dead and is pulled very easily. The easy removal is an indication that the weed is very sick, if not completely dead. Things look great after about 24 hours, but let's see what things look like in about 3 days. We'll compare the on-pulled sprayed weeds against the controls. Here's what's left of the weeds. I can't even find their remains. This is one of the controls. It looks a little injured, but it hasn't completely vanished like the sprayed weeds. It's fair to conclude that the weed warrior did the job. I'm not surprised with the results. I'm very familiar with this product, and I know how to get the most out of it. Here are some tips so you can get the best results too. Weather has a profound effect on all of life, including weeds. The best thing about weather is that it's free. I deliberately apply it on a sunny day, knowing that this would enhance the effectiveness of the Weed Warrior. The Weed Warrior works by degrading the plant's cuticle, which is the protective waxy film on the plant's leaves. With the cuticle degraded, the plant is much more vulnerable to solar radiation. Weed Warrior will still work on a cloudy day, but not as fast. I also knew a blizzard and a freeze was coming. Now, Canada Thistle can tolerate spring blizzards alright, but it's still going to stress out the plant a little bit. While the weed spray is doing most of the work, the blizzard will help ensure that the weed does not come back. A post-freeze isn't mandatory for Weed Warrior to work, but it certainly helps. Another key strategy is that I attacked the weeds when they were very young. 99% of the time, weeds are much easier to kill when they are young. This goes beyond just Weed Warrior, and applies to nearly all herbicides, as well as hand removal. However you go about it, the sooner you attack weeds, the better. Lastly, I know how Weed Warrior works, which allows me to apply it correctly. Weed Warrior is not a systemic herbicide, but rather a contact herbicide. That's to say it will only injure what it touches, instead of flowing throughout the entirety of the plant. For it to work best, 
it needs to make contact with the entire surface of the leaves. I also recommend applying pretty generously, stopping just before the point the leaves are dripping. I did over apply a little bit in this demonstration, but that's just because I had a hard time keeping the spray bottle in frame. Knowing the target weed and its growth habit is also helpful. Weed Warrior will work on thousands of weeds, but all herbicides have their limitations, including this one. So that's a quick introduction to Weed Warrior, an organic herbicide. Do you have any questions about how it works? Or do you want to know if it will work on a specific weed? If so, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you.